we started retreating and reading every treatise on the shelf. There would have been nothing left to do for someone less astute. He would have been dead and destitute without a cent or restitution. Started working, working for his late mother's landlord. Trading sugar cane and rum and all the things he can't afford. Send him for every book he can get his hands on. Planning for the future. Rise and shine, Wildcats. Today is November 29th. I'm Samaj. And I'm Maggie. And we'll be your host for this terrific Tuesday. We've got all you need to know and more coming right up. But as always, please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Now that Thanksgiving is over, time to focus on your studies. Do you need some tutoring or extra help? If so, come to one of the study sessions after school in the library. Tuesdays is social studies, Wednesdays is math, Thursdays is English language arts, and Fridays is science. Do you want to contribute to this year's yearbook? We're asking you to submit your pictures throughout the year to be included in the 2017 yearbook through the replay of that. It's quick and easy, so if you're hanging out with your friends or doing anything cool, send us your pictures. Speaking of yearbooks, attention junior high students. If you purchase your junior high yearbook now, it will be entered into a drawing to win one for free. See Mrs. Stein with the details. Do you like to read? Go check out the book fair in the library. It'll be here all week. Getting hungry? Let's go to Tommy to see what's up in the cafeteria. Today's lunch is nacho grande with chips and toppings and your side of steamed corn in a veggie grab bag. And don't forget your milk. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Tommy. Sounds lovely. Now time for your club and activity announcements. The Junior High Yearbook Club's meeting will be on Wednesday, November 30th. The Junior High Art Club will be meeting Thursday, December 1st. Attention senior trippers. Final payment due December 1st. Payment should be dropped off to Mr. Diamond or Mr. Smith by December 1st. The next meeting for National Honor Society will be Wednesday, December 7th after school in C-17. Attendance is mandatory to be considered good standing. Attention junior high. Tickets are now on sale for the Holly Dance. Tickets are $15 each and include dancing and soda. Don't forget, Under the Sea is the theme. It is, as always, a great time. You will be voting for Holly Dance Court for both 7th and 8th grade, too. Maple Shade Decca will be hosting its third annual Pie in the Eye. Proceeds with benefits, new eyes for the needy. All I have to do is make a donation into your favorite teacher's jar for a chance to see them get a pie in their face. Start saving your change now. Jars will be in lunches soon. The student government is selling Mapleshade High School Olympic t-shirts. They are $10 and can be ordered through any student government member. And good luck to the chess team as they take on Cherry Hill East today. Now, here's another clip from Mapleshade High School's production of Little Women. So thoughtful of the March girls to share their holiday festivities with us. Yes, my dear. You do know, of course, that the March family was once one of the most prominent families in Concord. Genteel gatherings of the right people and lovely dances hosted by the March family were quite commonplace in those days. What happened to bring them down so far, Mrs. Gardner? Well, my dear, it was foolish Mr. March and his altruistic ways. Attempting that ridiculous integrated school and his communal farm? Ha, why, it's absolutely scandalous. And I shan't say another word for fear of corrupting you impressionable young girls with his wretched progressive ideas. I will say, everyone in town pities poor Mrs. March for her foolish- Excuse me, mother, but who's the young man who's come to stay with old Mr. Lawrence? Or Tom's told me he's from Europe. Mm -hmm. oh, Sally, Sally, Sally. My dear child, it is never polite to gossip about others until you know all the facts. <laughs> <laughs> now, old Mr. Lawrence's grandson is quite another story altogether. He'd make quite a catch for one of you young ladies in a few years. Mm -hmm. Why? He'll be the most eligible man in Concord when he comes of age. Quite a lot of money there, you know, of course. I would never discuss that with you. It would be terribly indiscreet to discuss finances with- Now just hold still a moment, Amy! I really must insist I don't have time for this! 
Santa can help hold the setup. I must have time to adjust my costume. Oh, goodness gracious. I can't help now. There's someone at the door. Hurry yourselves in now, ladies. And let me collect your wraps. And you can settle yourselves in the parlor. Thank you so much, dear. And could you see that our wraps are hung properly? And try not to crush the fur. You may want to hurry yourselves in now, ladies, while I go hang the wraps. The girls are just about ready to begin. Finally, we'd like to wish a very happy birthday to Brittany Barbaces. And Lucas Concavs Cario. Well, that's it from us today. From all of us in the TV studio, thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching and have an, an awesome, awesome day. day.